Hey, what's up folks? Welcome to Charlie's Dev Life. My name's Charlie George, and this is week four of my journey to becoming a web developer. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. Uh, we're on week number four of my web development apprenticeship at 2080 Online. Uh, this week, my boss has given me another task to build another website with multiple pages. Uh, this time, it's using HTML and CSS, but also uh, to help with the structure of the way the website's created, we're using something called PHP. Uh, so I'm going to go through how I've done that with you uh, right now. Hey everyone, so if you remember last week, we had this generic logo company website. Um, and we're hosting this using the local host. And the way uh, I did that was through uh, something called Docker. And we load it through the terminal here. So at the moment, uh, where we are, if I show you in Finder, we're in uh, uh, Charlie as, a, as the user, then in a folder called Dev, then Tasks, Task 4, and here's the docker uh, hyphen compose dot ymal so that's the the file we load f for docker to load the website but we want to change that now to task 4 so what we're going to do is in the terminal just here is first of all I'm just going to go to uh, list and type in ls to, to see where we are okay so at the moment we're we're actually just in, in the root folder. So what, where we want to get to is is here and actually close this uh, this this Docker container. So the way we're going to do that is type in CD for change directory and go to dev. And if you just type in LS again, we should be able to see the same folders we see in this dev folder here, which are all of these. Okay, so in here, John's hyphen tasks, we're going to type in uh, oh, CD, we have to type in CD every time, uh, each time we want to uh, change folder. So change directory, John's hyphen tasks, enter. Let's see what's in there. Okay, so in, we're in the right place. We've got four different tasks there. So we want to go to task three. And we want to docker compose down. So if I demonstrate that to you, if you come back here to the local host and refresh, that's that's now not loaded because it's not running. So we come back into the terminal here. So we want to get now to here task four. So at the moment if we do list, we're actually still in task three. So we want to go change directory space dot dot enter to go up list. We can see now we're back in the uh, John's tasks folder. So we want to now change directory to task four, enter and go docker compose up hyphen D. And now let's just check that's worked. Reload. Okay, yeah. So we can refresh, do a hard refresh on these pages now because we need to clear the cache. So if we do Command, Shift, and R on a Mac, this will reload all of the pages properly. I've recently just used these, so I don't need to do a full refresh. But I will anyway, just in case. Okay, great. So here's task four, Data Mountain, a hypothetical uh, a website. So we have, I'll show you an example of how I've done this responsively. So right click, inspect, just move this down out of the way. So we design mobile first. So here we can see the masthead image. If we expand it, if we go to tablet form, so there, you can see it's slightly changed, and notice the width of this image and just where these orange dots are and see what happens. 
Okay, so you can see that that image is still behind <coughs> this overlay, but it's expanded into a full panoramic uh, picture to cater for the uh, width of the screen, which is designed for desktop. So this is the desktop version. And if we go down, you can see the same thing happens on this featured image down here. So this is the pro section. And here, this we have this overlay, but if we go down, it actually pops below it, which is quite, which is quite smart. Um, at the moment, if you just notice this menu here also at the top right, nothing happens if I click on it, because I haven't enabled any JavaScript on this page or any written any JavaScript code for this website yet. But we can navigate here. So we have products, about, resources, services, and this one's responsive also, but the colors change. So if you can see here, uh, ranking, visibility, and keyword management, if we expand that, keyword management is now blue, and these other sections are now orange. So that's something I did using uh, Flexbox, and the whole thing's fully responsive. And then we have the blog, and the contact at the end, which I never got round to uh, finishing which is fine because I've done quite a lot for this website. So what that looks like in Atom is, okay, we'll just minimize this for a moment. Get up the finder, bring in task four to Atom. So we have this PHP folder. So this is the way I'm working now. We have these uh, root files which contain, let's just do the index for example. So with PHP, the way, the way it works, we, we do a function called include and then a link to the source of the folder. So here we go to, say for example, uh, components, modules, index, masthead, PHP. And that's just a section of the page that we want to display. So in this particular page, the index, which is the home page, it contains three different sections. So if we, for example, um, masthead, we'll go to components. So we go up here to the components folder. Modules, so under modules, we go here. And then it's under index and then here masthead so double click on mastheads and this is the html for masthead so this is the uh this is the content of of the page the way the way it's uh uh the way it's uh displayed um um in order so it it's still only the content but the way it's displayed uh, with, with the styling is under assets so we have JavaScript, which I haven't got into yet. It has one uh, file there, but it's not being used. Images, <coughs> um, for example, on here. Uh, so we have three images for the masthead, which uh, if you remember, I showed you for the way it was responding at the top here. So the mobile versions, tablet, and desktop. Those are the three images you can see there. And you can see the sources, assets, images, index. So it's assets, images, and then index. So for example, mastheadimage.jpg would be here. Mastheadimage.jpg, and you can see there it's. And so that's images, and then CSS. Uh, if you go to index.css, this is the way we work. Uh, in, in these files here, so we do mobile design first. <clears throat> um, so it's uh, so it's called mobile first design. So we have for each section we have common, um, uh, and then masthead, uh, features section, and then the pro section. Those are the different sections of the pages, including uh, the common elements at the top, and then the same applies for each uh, device. Uh, so we have a me media query, so when we go up to tablet, we have all the styling for the tablet. And then the last one is desktop, so min width is uh, 1200 pixels. So then we have the masthead section there, masthead container, all of that styling, all that styling is changing. And then all the way to the bottom there. 
So, uh, yeah, that's it for me this week, guys. Uh, just to recap what we've done, we went over HTML, CSS, and uh, PHP. Um, and that's just proved so useful recently with the, the, the structuring of, of, of a website. It just makes so much sense. And, of course, we were in the terminal uh, doing this sort of stuff. It looks scary at first, but once you know how to navigate, it's, uh, it's not too difficult. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video this week. Um, if you want to know more about this sort of stuff, you can follow me on my blog, uh, which is www.charliesdevlife.com. And uh, of course, uh, all of my uh, uh, social media, I'm on Instagram. I'm trying to get more stuff on Instagram, but I'm finding it difficult to produce just content um, so often because a lot of people post daily, but when you have all these different uh, channels so you have Instagram, Twitter, you know LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook. Um, there's just so much to do. So um, I'm kind of just recycling some of these videos. I might just stick to Facebook and YouTube for the videos, and and then also on my blog uh, on, on the website. But then also just do maybe just photos um, or daily insights maybe for Instagram I'm not sure yet but we'll, we'll see how that goes um, but yeah all of the links are in the description and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, I'll reply to any comments you have so please comment uh, in, in the description and if, on, if you're on YouTube um, I'll reply to any questions you have and yeah uh, until next week um, take it easy and I'll see you then bye for now